In this video, I'm going to discuss the Hypergeo Locative Media platform. Today, when we use the term locative media, what usually comes to mind first are computer-aided navigation systems, or Navisist systems. These systems combine satellites, cellular network towers, communication links, and computer interfaces to assist us in finding our way around. For example, when you use the Navigator application on an Android phone to find a restaurant or the address of a birthday party you were invited to or some such. The fact that we think of locative media as strongly related to computer-aided navigation systems tells us something very important about our relationship to media and our notions about what media itself really is. Because of the way we are by now constantly engaged in, with computation in our day-to-day -day lives, we make the mistake of relating locative media to the high-tech gadgets of recent vintage, um, tools that are still front and center in our conversations about our culture and our economy. But in fact, locative media is an ancient technology. To give a sense of what I mean by this, practically all of the world's great religions have strong pilgrimage traditions. In a pilgrimage, sites of particular importance and meaning are visited by the faithful, sites that have been decorated according to the tenets and symbolics of the given religion. People travel to these sites in order to reinforce within themselves the narrative of their faith, often seeking very personal mystical intervention between them and their various deities. Perhaps the most famous of these is the Hajj, the Muslim pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca, which now numbers up to three million people. The roots of Mecca as a pilgrimage site may date to before the Prophet Muhammad, and perhaps all the way back to the Prophet Abraham, and perhaps even further into prehistory. Not only are these traditions ancient, but it's important to point out that their representational and ritual aspects are very important. Shrines that have been visited by Christian pilgrims for almost two millennia typically include the adoration of a sacred object or icons enshrined in churches whose architecture exists to present a fully multimedia experience. For example, combining painting, sculpture, and music, and ritual performance into a single multimedia unit for worship purposes. Importantly, decorated shrines and monuments are not singular sites of media experience. Pilgrimages themselves are quite frequently organized symbolically into a series of different locations, shrines that can or should be visited in a particular order. In Japan, for example, the Buddhist uh, Shikuku pilgrimage traverses over 1,200 kilometers and has 88 official shrines passing through four different prefectures, each prefecture of which represents one step in a larger symbolic path to enlightenment. Pilgrimages are therefore about more than just the sum of their locations, but are also very much about the activity of moving between the various sites, thus adding a proprioceptive dimension to the pilgrimages. To further emphasize the ancient and really deeply anthropomorphic roots of the pilgrimage, we can note that there is both archaeological and anthropological evidence that pilgrimage traditions likely date back very, very deeply into history through small-scale, pre-literate, non-industrial societies. For example, the Aboriginal people of Australia have actually really very sophisticated pilgrimage traditions in which efficiently detailed representations of the landscape are actually encoded alongside narratives of, of religious importance, ultimately into songs, or so-called song lines, that serve as spatio-temporal and even topological mappings of their environment. In some cases, these song lines lead from one painted rock art site to the next, weaving time, landscape, narrative, and visual media into perhaps the earliest human form of metamedia, a kind of media that encapsulates all other media. So one of the key propositions of the Walking Tools Laboratory and projects like Hypergeo.net is our speculation that there's really still a great deal that we can learn from um, these earliest forms of locative media tradition, and that those, you know, the, those experiences really can be applied to uh, the contemporary applications of computationally mediated walking. 